you don't want to get this on your hands. So your clutch master cylinder, this is on all years, is the small one right here. This is your brake, this is your clutch. So one of the first things to do, and this goes for if you're buying an S2002, one of the things to go check for is take this cap off and take a look in here. As you see, there's not a lot of fluid in there. Always check this, because if there is fluid on here, don't drip it on your paint. It's really low and what is in there is dark. So the fluid is going somewhere. So let me show you one of the places that it usually goes. So you're gonna come around to the inside of the car here. You know, you see what these three pedals do. This is your clutch pedal. If you don't know that, you might not be driving an S2000. So you're gonna follow that pedal up and you see it's dusty around here, but you can see there, there is a drip. That is the inside of the clutch master cylinder. So what happens is that is dripping off there and it actually drips into the insulation of the car. And it's kind of a unique design that actually disappears. So that master cylinder is gonna to have to be replaced. So this is the new master cylinder. This is the part we were looking at in the car here. You see this area here? This is where we were looking at that drip. Now this is the reservoir that holds the fluid. This, if you can think of this thing as like a syringe, but it holds the fluid in here. And as this part is pressed, the pressurized fluid comes out here, which goes to the slave cylinder, which operates the clutch. So the fluid that is in here is leaking by the piston in here, and it leaks out of here. So I'm gonna take the old one out, and I'm gonna show you what is involved in removing that. So one of the first things that we do is, there's a small amount of fluid in here. We go ahead and drain that. There's a few ways you can do it. Uh, easiest way is to use a hand pump that pumps it out. You can also use like a big syringe, like a turkey baster to suck it out. Or if it's really low, you can even use a few towels and stick them in there and soak it up. But be careful as you take it out of here, don't drip it on here. Okay, so the tools you're gonna to need to do this master zone is actually pretty easy. You're gonna need some needle nose pliers, a 10 millimeter wrench. Depending on how tight it is, you might need a line wrench, but typically on the S2000s, I found a 10 millimeter open wrench works just fine. Uh, a wobbly, if you're gonna use 3.8, 3.8 wobbly. A 12, either a medium length or a deep 12. A long extension and your ratchet wrench. Now, that is the line that you're gonna remove. You're gonna use your 10 millimeter wrench on this guy right here. You're gonna take that out. Okay, so next thing to do is to remove this clip. Now, it's kinda of hard to show you this on camera, but it is this clip right up there. I'm gonna remove it and show you, then once you see what it looks like, you'll know which clip that you're gonna be aiming for. So this is what the clip looks like. It actually goes through this pin here which is what attaches to the master cylinder. This is the new master cylinder, and that's what you're pulling out. That clip goes through there. This is actually orientated this way as you're looking at it. This goes through here, and your pedal attaches here. Now the next thing to take off is these two nuts here. I wanna show you on this one because it's much easier to show you without going into the car. But these are two 12 millimeters. They're not that difficult to get to, but I do recommend an extension with the socket and the wobbly or universal joint. So there's one of the nuts right there. And then the other one is obviously 180 degrees opposite, which you kind of just see behind that bracket. So now those nuts are removed, this will come out. You're gonna to have to pull that line clear. And as you see, I recommend putting some paper towel under there. So anything that drips out, the paper towel will catch and it won't sit on the paint. All right, so here's our old clutch master. As you can see, this is what I was trying to show you. You can see where it's been dripping and it's actually turned into like a grease. But you can see how wet it is in there. 
and it literally just comes off here and turns into like a pasty grease as it hits the air. But that's a telltale sign that your mass cylinder is blown. Uh, I found that this is typically from cars that have hadn't had sufficient maintenance, which one of the things I've found is if you replace your fluid on a regular basis, these last much, much longer. That's why I recommend looking in that master cylinder and if it looks any kind of a dark fluid in there, it needs to be flushed. But before you t spend your time flushing, make sure it's not blown out like this one. So the installation is pretty much just like the removal. Now you have an opening down here. You need to replace the gasket on the new master cylinder. If it's in good shape, you can use the old one. If not, I'd recommend purchasing a new one from Honda. So I'm going to show you this. Again, this is how to know it's correctly aligned. This will rotate pretty easy, but it's easier to do before you put it in the car. When you're looking at it from the car side, and this is where you're going to be putting that pin back in, which is this right here. This is the orientation. So I'd recommend putting it this way as you slide it through the firewall, and then the pedal is going to go in here, but the pin goes that way. So if you're looking at it from the car side, it goes from right to left and this is where the clip is going to go through the pin. So you can see here, this is how it goes onto the pedal. And you see those tabs on that bracket is going to be sticking towards your right. Okay, so once you have those 12s tight, you're going to slide this pin in. Like I said earlier, it's going to go from right to left. And this clip right here, hold it with your needle nose pliers and it makes it very easy to put in. You're going to basically push it in that hole there and then keep it tight and push it straight in you'll feel it clip and you'll see that little turn back is kind of like the barb to stop it falling out but it's going to push in and you're going to hold your pliers this way it's pretty straightforward so now you have your pedal reassembled you're going to put the line back onto the new master cylinder you'll see there is a little plastic plug in there you're going to have to remove that and then that line be very careful to get this started correctly you do not want to cross thread this. So you're going to push this line in and while you're holding it in, you're going to turn that clockwise. Make sure you do this by fingers first before you put a wrench on it because if you do cross thread this, the only fix is to replace the whole master cylinder and a new line, which that takes quite a lot longer than spending the time to get it started first. So don't rush this part. So now we have our master cylinder installed we're going to put fresh fluid in there and start the bleeding procedure. There is a few ways to do this. I'm going to show you the most basic way and the way we do it at LHT and we do a lot of these. All right, I'm going to draw a little diagram just to give you an idea how the hydraulic system works and what we just did. So basically what we have here is this is the mass cylinder. This is like a piston. We have the line going to the reverse of that, which is known as the slave which looks like this, has a piston. The hydraulic fluid is held in the reservoir here. This is where your clutch is pressing. This is your pedal. So you press this, you're pressing that fluid down here and activating this, which operates the clutch. Here's your clutch. This is under the car. This is bolted to the transmission. You'll see it has two little bolts holding it on, kind of looks like this. Anyway. We have fluid in here. We need to make sure there is no air in the system. If there is air in the system, the clutch won't work properly and you'll have a spongy pedal because air compresses where fluid doesn't. So the basic procedure is from here to here, we want no air. This is where we're putting fluid. Here's our cap that I showed you. There is a bleeding fitting on the slave, which let's say it's here. On an S2000, it's an eight millimeter. So the way we're gonna do this, the most simple way is to gravity feed it to get the most out, which is basically keep this up to at least halfway, break this loose and let it drip until you get a steady drip. It's a slow way to doing it, but it will get it started. Once you get a slow drip, you're gonna tighten this right here keep this full all the time. If this drops below this level, you'll suck air in here, then you'll have air back in the system. You'd have to do it all over again. So the way to do this, this is the simplest way. Everyone will tell you a different way. This is the simplest way. 
you're going to get yourself a container of fluid. You're going to have a hose going into the fluid from here. You want to have two people at this point, it's pretty easy. So what you're going to do is have someone press this down and hold it. While they're holding that, you're going to break this loose half a turn. You'll see fluid come out, then tighten it back up. Have that person release the pedal. Wait a second, press the pedal again, break this loose, a little bit of fluid will come out. Keep this down the whole time. While this is down, tighten this back up. Have the person release this pedal. After three or four pumps, check this. Sometimes this will move fluid in three pumps, sometimes it will take ten pumps. But you're going to do this over and over and over again. This hose here, I recommend using a piece of clear hose, and you'll actually see the bubbles come down the hose as it's coming out the system. Once you pump this and you see fluid with no bubbles, your system is bled. Keep an eye on this the whole time. Don't let this run out. If this runs down, you'll suck air in here. Air goes in the system. You start the whole thing over again. Again, press this down before you break it loose. This goes down, keep it held. Break this loose, tighten it back up, release this pedal. Wait a second, put this back down, break this loose, tighten it back up, release the pedal. Do this over and over again, and you'll bleed your system.